Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we are playing some brews today in Historic Best of One. What we have up here is a Genesis Dragons deck. Uh, it is basically ramp up and drop a bunch of big dragons. You have Glory Bringer, uh, five mana, four, four haste that you can exert, which means you tap it, it doesn't untap, and it deals four damage to non-dragon creature and opponent controls. Uh, Goldspan Dragon, if you're familiar with standards, all over the place. Uh, makes a treasure if it's targeted or attacks and makes treasures tap for two mana so it helps with the ramp theme you have terror of the peaks whenever another creature enters the battlefield deals damage to any target equal to its power and then we have niv mizzet perrin um, the big daddy dragon uh, very interesting mana cost um, but whenever you draw a card deals one damage and whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery you draw a card uh, we have Genesis Ultimatum to throw on a bunch of dragons so you can kind of combo kill with Terror of the Peaks. Uh, and then the rest of the deck is basically ramp and some removal. Explore and Grow Spiral, draw you cards, gain, uh, lets you put additional lands into play. Cultivates the Search Up lands. Kiora allows you to card draw off any of your dragons, plus allows you to tap, untap. And then for Anger of the Gods and a Shatter Skull Smashing. So let's fire this up, see how it goes. We ran some giants. Let's run some Genesis dragons, see how these go. We do have Strixhaven only a couple days away, so kind of bringing out the jank. Uh, if you do have any Strixhaven focused decks you'd like to see, uh, do drop a comment. We'll try to get to as many during early access as possible. Opponent is on Luris. I think we just try to go over the top of them. We're hoping this is Auras. Okay, Arcanist is kind of rough. Burn. So we'll grow Spiral into Cultivate. Hopefully find another land there. Anger of the Gods would actually be really good here. Okay, so we need blue-green. And I think we're just going to Goldspan Dragon here to make sure we hit our mana. Okay, so they're burn. To be honest, we're probably just dead next turn. So I'm going to keep this back on defense whenever it becomes target of a spell. So Dreadhorde will kill it. Could shrink it down here. Oh, they're just going face. So I block here. Yeah, they just had tons of burn that game. We need one more turn. That was a very aggressive start from the opponent. Can't really do much when, uh, like we ramped probably as quick as we could have gone. Anger, had we drawn it, would have been very helpful there. Another good hand here. So we're going to lead on the steam vents. Don't want to see blue white control. If they're going to counter, I'd rather they counter on their turn. Taps them out. I'd rather get this cultivate out. Do 
do this now. Um, okay, so we can play around the sensor here. Let's get a green source, probably just two green sources. Would have loved, love, love, love to drop this Genesis this turn. I'm gonna have a hard time getting threats down here. Maybe they get greedy, they tap out for another Shark Typhoon. Actually, the way they tapped is a bit awkward here. Because they don't have... Um... No. Are you kidding me? How they had the for the Genesis. They can double. Ah, I forgot to exert. That was dumb. They find the one of to stop my Genesis ultimatum, which is really annoying. And then I forgot to exert. Now they have absorbed, so let's just go to the next game. There's not really much I can do. We needed to, like, if we had the chance to sneak that, um,. Genesis down the turn they they hard casted shark, but they went ram spell ram spell We'll try this out hopefully it's a creature deck World tree suggests to me it's not it's likely like a Sultai ult deck. If you have Sweltering Suns, you should probably just play Sweltering Suns instead because you can cycle in matchups like this. Love a Cultivate of our own here. We're just going to be too slow. Taking off this turn to really do nothing. They can ultimate him next turn. I'm just going to play this out. This means if we draw a land, then I can combo, or I can uh, ultimate him next turn. They likely have theirs. Okay. Don't care about that. Rise and shine. So a cool interaction here. I'm actually not going to kill this. So that's how it is. One drop ripples 
Because I could anger next turn if needed. It's really annoying we just didn't hit a line drop. They hit theirs. Hey, Bob Luck. I am trying some dragons out. But we've drawn more Anger of the Gods against the deck that has no creatures, really. We're dead here. Let's just save the time. Yeah, it's a uh, big ramp. You have Glorybringer, Goldspan Dragon, Niv Mizzet, and Terror of the Peaks with Genesis Ultimatum. But we're just drawing the wrong part of our deck. We've lost to like aggro a bit without drawing angers. Then we keep a hand with angers and then run into control. We also ran into blue white that had a, a turn four hard cast typhoon into counter spells. All right. Let's try this out. Worst case, this is turn four dragon into turn five ultimatum. This is colorless control. Oh, we're just dropping Ketrias. Really wanted that growth spiral actually. Death Shadow. Yeah, this is basically how the entire day's gone. Get the guy who draws. Yeah, whatever, we're dead. I'm not going to beat double thought sees when they take all my ramp. So that's a game like now we keep the other stuff when it doesn't go anywhere. Hey, Dark Hunter, how's it going? Getting our ass kicked today. Don't thought seize me, bro. We uh we ran is it giants, which was fine, but we lost to like auras and then just some chunkier gruel decks. Are they back on Historic uh, Dark Hunter, or are they still on Standard? The problem is they're, like, I was trying to watch some of the content this week. It's the same four decks just going against each other in each format. Opponent. Where'd you go, opponent? I'll have to check it out later. So we explore into Cultivate, into Terror, into Genesis Ultimatum, hopefully. Play out the guaranteed tap lions. Next turn I can Cultivate into tap steam vents. Uh, Genesis is triple blue. So Genesis, well, we are going to do some very big things. See, Faithless, yes, is a very powerful card. Actually, I can do this into dragon, but it's quite easy to hate out the graveyards. So block pelt collector here. I don't think they can kill us. Okay, 
Okay, so they attack here. Take five. All right, big dragons. I will... Oh wait, they're just dead. Deal five to you, deal five to you, deal five to you. Bye friends! All right, we did the dragon thing. Arcanist will be a lot better than uh, Phoenix, I think. Phoenix is so anemic. Like, you're getting a 3-2 in the end, which isn't that great. Arcanist being able to play, like, Croxa, a lot of bl strong black cards, I think is going to be a lot more impactful. All my cards cycle. So we don't have a payoff in this hand, but these all cycle. We have Kiora to draw some cards after. Try to get some dragons going. It's time to main board Leyline of the Void or rest in peace. Perfect. I'm actually going to Kiora here. If this is Gruul, then I get to Glory Bringer, their creature, and then you can exert and then untap it to get around the exert. Green White Enchantress, Calyx, uh, the Tutor, and then just play a toolbox. So they probably just drew this this turn. What you got, opponent? Because you're going to get banged on. Let's draw a card here. I actually screwed up there. I could have growth spiraled into it. damage here. Then we untap here. So we just need Genesis Ultimatum. Another Dragon helps here. They have Questing Beast. That's not great. It's an easy block here. Cure has already drawn a card and basically let me kill two of their creatures. Just in case I get Genesis alt. Ooh, can I Niv here? I can. Okay. Combo. Bye, friends. 
It'll be interesting. I think Time Warp's another card that can have a lot of impact. Just being able to recur, uh, like, Time Lock effects. Alright, we dragon in. Alright, cleaned it up a bit there towards the end. I think let's switch it up. We'll run another deck. Appreciate everyone tuning in on YouTube, and we'll catch you next time.